Hey guys, welcome back. Here I'm going to show you just a little demo of uh, metal lettering. And metal lettering is um uh, not, I, I would say it's not similar to the chrome that I had showed you on a, another video. It's, it's a little different. You can even do metal lettering a, a few different ways. Um, and here I'm just going to show you, I'm just starting to airbrush some gray on here. It's a light gray. And I'm just kind of misting over the whole area. But I, if you notice on the right hand side, I'm, I'm shadowing it just a little bit darker on each letter. And I am using Cretex Illustration paints for this. You could use Wicked also, which normally I would use Wicked on lettering. I just didn't have it uh, with me in my bag, so I'm using Illustration, which is, you know, as long as it's cleared, as long as it's uh, protected, is fine to use. And I thin this down with, uh, I'm spraying it about 20 PSI. And I thin it down, uh, kind of, not half and half, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, 75% uh, diluted with distilled water. And, uh, I kind of have a mixture of distilled water and, uh, 4011. Here I'm using an eraser and coming in and I'm just kind of, uh, erasing out some uh, texture for like streaks in the metal. When you look at metal, it has like, I don't know, different streaks in it, highlights and things like that that make it look shiny or make it look worn. And that's what I'm doing here. Then I'll be going back over and spraying it again, building it up. That way it's not so striking white in there. We want that in certain areas, but not, not to where you can tell that it looks like it's just been scratched off. I think I'm making my gray at this point a little darker by putting a few more uh, drops of black and a drop of cobalt blue in it. And then I'll be coming back and making one side darker, even darker, and spraying in some little rivets with uh, my a little uh, circle thing. Which, if you don't have a stencil for it, you can kind of use a hole puncher and punch out a little hole for this size of lettering anyway. You always want to make sure if you're using a stencil that you're getting the same hole size, which I have missed before and gotten a different one. Then I had to go back and fix it, but it's possible you can fix it. At this point, I'm spraying in the darker color for the rivets. And they will be highlighted and erased out certain points on it to make it look rounded. I'm just spraying in the areas that are going to be dark. And then I will be coming back and uh, Erasing some of that in. You know, if you do a lot of automotive work, it's um, it's good to have a, a plotter where you can cut your stencils out and use it on your tank or your back of your truck tailgate or hood, whatever, wherever you're going to put the lettering. 
and then you can airbrush like this and it really comes out looking awesome. Here I'm just kind of putting a little shadowing across the sides of it because metal tends to have different shades in it. Here I'm racing out some little highlights around the rivets. I wish you could see a closer view of this. Now you can't see it that well, but if you notice you from the A, if you look at the A and then you look at the other two, they're beginning to pop out a little bit as I as I erase out some highlights in those. We really had some awesome weather today. It was like 60 degrees one day. I was like, yay! Come on, Sprite! I'm ready. I am ready for some warm weather. Even though we haven't had a very bad winter, it's just, I like the warm weather. Here I'm taking my exacto knife and I am uh, scratching in that middle part of the rivet where you would be screwing it in. And you can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. And you kind of hold your knife at a slanted uh, position to do this. And with the illustration painting, it makes it a lot easier to erase stuff wicked. If you tend to let it set for too long, it will start curing on you. So, uh, automotive, I usually always use Wicked. It just, it's more suited for doing automotive. Or auto airs. I don't use auto air, but it is a good paint. I've used it before. It's just, you know, they have so many different paints. You finally have to choose one and stick to it. I suppose Chroma Air would be good for automotive also. And it's about the same as Wicked. It will cure on you. So you have to, any kind of highlighting that you want to do, you kind of have to do quickly. Um, just let it set for, I don't know, a few seconds and then start, start erasing it out. There, I had to erase a little bit where it sprayed too dark. I'm just putting the shadow under those rivets to help them to pop out even more. And this is just a darker. Um, gray, I just added a few more drops of black and a couple drops of cobalt blue to make it even darker. And I'm cleaning my airbrush, I believe, and I'm going to start placing in some more highlights. I think our next step is to take off the little strip uh, that I have around where it says, um, you can see the blue in there, the little um, like lining that the type of lettering that I picked out and um, did, I lined it in this so that when I peeled it out it'd be a bright white. And then I could come back over and shadow that in even more. 
and um, cause it to look like it's popping out. Here I'm putting in some white highlights on those rivets to make them pop out a little more. Uh, you wouldn't have to do this because I could also erase more, but kind of got tired of erasing and just decided to pick up some um, um, opaque white and spray in there. Right now it doesn't look like much because you're looking at the part where um, the airbrushing went over the, the strip that I'm pulling off now. Okay, next step is I will be shadowing that white line a little bit. To make it blend in a little bit more with the, the lettering itself so it's not so striking and white there. I'm putting most of the shadowing on the right side of that white. Kind of hitting it on the edges of the rounding part there around each letter. And then I'm going to be pulling the back part of this letter. And this would be really cool if it was on a black vehicle or a blue vehicle or anything darker than white, but white it doesn't really show a whole lot but I'm erasing a little bit more there I got a little bit closer for y'all to see I wanted you to start noticing that like you can uh, scratch out extra on the outsides of that white to make it even pop out more to look like it's a metal effect and you also, if you wanted to, you could even get even darker with black around the certain edges and make it pop out even more. I just did not use the black because, you know, that's another step. But if you wanted to do that, you could. But there you have it. Thank you for watching and come back.